realized that I missed a, a good key ingredient, which is my ketchup. I didn't put ketchup on the oxtail. However, I have this bag of the marinated ketchup. I mean ketchup. The marinated um, oxtails. And I'm getting my pot. Right. A heavy duty. Um, big pot. I'm getting it hot before I add the oil in it, so. If only y'all could smell what I smell. Lord, get into it. Like, the juices that's in this bag alone. The, I'm going to put water in this bag <laughs> to get all the flavors out of it. But yes, I'm going to add my oil in a second. And I'm going to mix up some um, ketchup inside this bowl. put very little brown sugar and you just want it to caramelize and become a fair I think of the color that I'm looking for and I'm going to stir it with the ketchup You don't rush your food to cook. You cook your food. And it's something that is a process. It's a process in cooking oxtails. I don't brown all the meat at once. I will stew. Because it's a stew oxtail. My oxtail stew. I will stew all my oxtails. That's why my pan is large enough. As you can see, I didn't use this whole entire bowl. And I'm still, I'm browning. I browned in moderation. I just feel like I have that whole other bag. And I might have to stew them by themselves. Because this pot is literally full. Alright, we just got this bowl with all the juice in it. I'm going to add water to it. So this is what I'm going to do down. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 You want to get all the flavors and juices out. Big old pot of So I'm gonna be cooking my food. This is gonna be like a three hour, three and a half hour job. So I'll be done on midnight. I'm gonna add my coconut milk next. I can add it if I had to. I don't wanna stir. This is my can of coconut milk. Give it a good stir. Alright. I'm gonna add a cup of can of can of I'm gonna do half. Okay. This is the bag that had the other oxtails in it. Getting all the juices. And I'm gonna pour that next. Just water. And then dispose of this. All right, that's it. I still have the um, the bowl that has the water in it. So you want to cover your oxtails. 
with water and stew. So before I cover it completely, I'm gonna give it a good, I'm gonna get a proper utensil and give it a good and stir. A couple of my allspice pimento. I just wanna put that in the sauce. So I'm gonna add like, it's probably like 10. And then my fresh bay leaves. Put them in whole. all of them then later on after everything cooks down I think I'm gonna mount I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the jerk season I don't put that in to last after I taste and see what's going on okay and give it a good mix so this is the bowl with the rest of the flavors I want my oxos to be covered fully I don't know if you can see that it's to that line so this is going to bring it to where I need it. Mm, look at that flavor. Talk flavor to me. Yes. Let me see. I might just have to add the rest of this goodness. I'm going to just go ahead and top it off. Now you're just going to let it cook. See the pimentos floating on the earth in here. This is how you make stew oxtails. I think now I would add a tablespoon of jerk seasoning, but it's just for added flavor. I just don't want it too spicy. Okay. Optional. I'm going to just keep it like that. I decided not to go with the jerk seasoning. I have two scotch bonnet peppers. I'm just going to add to my stew and let them do the justice of what I need to be done. Stew and see you hours later. And this is what I will present to you all as a pot of finished stewed oxtails with butter beans. Yes, listen, falling off the bone, nice and tender, really, really delicious, nice gravy, has a wonderful kick. Too spicy, just right. 